Hey, it's Mr. Lowry. My last video got cut off. Sorry about that. We're on number eight here, and we're talking about domain and range for this assignment, domain and range of graphs. We're down here on number eight. Um, we were talking about a line, and this line actually represents an infinite number of closed dots really, really, really close to each other. So sometimes we have these endpoints, and we have these open dots and these closed dots, or these open dots and these squares. Those are endpoints, but everything on this line is basically a closed dot. So when you're looking for the lowest one, you can say that since this is part of the line, that's going to be a closed dot. So the lowest value of the domain here, the farthest left we're going to get is 1. right? Can't be 0, graph doesn't live there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, those are all values of the domain. The lowest one is 1, and I include 1 because again, any point on the line is a closed dot. Okay, now here we have an open dot, and here we have a closed, uh, a closed dot. So it's kind of like, well, which is the highest? Well, what this means here, open dot, is we go all the way up to 5, but not quite to 5. This is saying, on your graph, this point at 5 is excluded, but we do have that point up here. So the closed dot is going to take priority over the open dot. Right? This graph goes almost all the way to 5, but not quite to 5 because there's an open dot there, but on this side, it goes all the way up to 5. So this is the one we want to look at, the closed dot. So we're going to go all the way up to 5, and we're going to include 5. The graph doesn't hit 5 down here, but it does up here. It goes all the way up to 5. So that's your domain. Okay, for your range, you're going to pick the lowest to highest. So here's the lowest value, right? Way down here at negative 2. But the graph actually doesn't hit negative 2. It goes down and down and down and down and down. It never quite gets to this point. This point is negative 2 high, and that graph never quite gets to negative 2. So I still want to use the negative 2, but I'm going to put a parenthesis around it to show that I'm actually excluding that number. I just want everything right up to that number. So like negative 1.9999 will be good, but not negative 2. All the way up into negative 2, but not including negative 2. Okay, the highest value looks like it's positive 2, but since there's a closed dot there, I can include that in my range. Okay, so negative 2 to 2, anything in between, we're not going to include negative 2, we are going to include 2. So 1.3, 1.99, negative 1.5, all of those things are included in our range. Okay, the last question is, is this a, is this a function? So let's look at our vertical line test. There's lots of places where I can draw a vertical line that hits the graph more than once. And so I'm going to say, no, this is not a function. I can draw all kinds of vertical lines that hit this graph more than once. Remember that the definition of function says that each input has exactly one output. When I draw this vertical line right here, I'm basically testing the input of 2. Right? The input of 2 hits two points. I have 2, 1, and I have 2, negative 1. So the fact that this vertical line is hitting the graph twice is basically saying, hey, you have a repeated x value. 2 is matching to 1, and 2 is matching to negative 1. This input has more than one output, which means it's not a function. So super important definition. In a function, each input is matched with exactly one output. In this case, you can see there's a lot of inputs that are not matched with exactly one output. This is matched with two outputs, which means it doesn't qualify as a function. So that should help you with these. Um, use your vertical line test to determine if you have a function or not. Um, all your domains and ranges are going to be intervals, so you don't have to worry about that. You're going to use parentheses when you have open dots, um, brackets when you have closed dots. You're looking for like lowest to highest for x's and lowest and highest for y's. And then if you have double, right, you have an open dot and a closed dot, the closed dot takes priority. So go with the, go with the closed dot if you have two kind of in the same spot. All right, I hope that helps and gets you started, and I'll hopefully see you back in class soon. But if not, I hope you're healthy and happy at home.